Super Mario Odyssey turned five years old two days ago, in case you didn't feel old or wanted to feel old today. But like some people who liked the game, I went and streamed half the campaign late that night. After clearing Cascade and Sand Kingdom, showing off some tech and glitches, some people in chat wanted to see me do Luigi's Balloon World, so I figured, eh, why not? And for those who weren't privy when the stream took place, the balloon I'm highlighting involves a balloon in the Sand Kingdom. Over almost five years of Odyssey, you might be aware of an infamous balloon on a coin route towards the Poison Lake, or people placing their balloons on the rim of the hole, under the pyramid, on or around the inverted pyramid, in the quicksand, the Poison Lake closer to the inverted pyramid, the oasis, the Toasterina town, etc. It's a vast kingdom with plenty of ground to cover and high balloons in. But, have you ever wondered if you could place a balloon on the other inverted pyramid, the little mini floating platform you can only reach via the painting portal. The glitch that intrigued me was this glitch involving Glidon, where he can glide across the air, but allowing him to fall off the stairs in this part of Toasterina's ruins, making him glide right before he hits the ground, and causing him to turn 180 degrees behind him, allows him to glide upwards, basically making him fly. Albeit limited in control once you go high and want to maintain and or gain altitude, you can already see where I'm going with this. The idea I had was since the starting points at the top of the tower where Glideon is, if I can execute Glideon's fly glitch with precise and swift execution in one take basically, practically no time wasted to get airborne and make a course towards the floating platform and even use the coins circling it to add a little extra seconds to the timer, I could place the balloon on the platform. This kind of balloon spot was probably theorized to most who knew about the Glideon glitch. I haven't seen anyone record making it and placing it in the Sand Kingdom as far as I know. And after trying to attempt placing it in a spot seemingly no one's managed to do for two hours, I gave it a shot. I don't think it's gonna take me that long, cause you saw like after the first attempt I like got like the Glideon thing pretty freaking quick after like a couple extra attempts. And it has to be first try, there's no way. There is no- yeah. It has to be first try. I'm being s- <laughs> It's gotta be first try. That's the caveat with this moon, it has to be first try. <laughs> no way, no Way this took like three, four tries. No f***ing shot. No f***ing shot. Come on. If it's in view, it's a wrap before the 10 second mark. Where is it? It's over there. No. I went too far to the right. Guys. Okay, so I went too far to the right. That was my error, but we got the glitch first try. This is... Dude. <laughs> I was really close there, and I think... Okay. Hear me out. Brainstorming. Right before the timer runs out, I'm hitting those coins. That's gonna increase my timer. Those coins circling that platform is literally the key. Literally the key. This is a hundred percent doable. This is a one hundred. This is one hundred percent doable. This. Ooh. <laughs> you. That was it. Oh, I was too low. I was. Mm. <sighs> How much you want to bet? My nose barely touched those coins. How much do you want to bet? No. Hell. Oh yeah. Stop shot mode, it's 
useless with this thing. I hit ZL. I hit ZL. All my f challenge speedrunners to do this would we'll just get the balloon or like hiding it in that spot. I'm like really f convinced no one's ever tried this. Or at least no one's ever managed to get the moon up there. I feel like I'm gonna be the first one to do this kind of moon. I'm pretty f sure. I'm pretty f sure mine's gonna be like the first. If I can f up there. Oh. I, I, I appreciate all of you who've stuck around for the past two hours. This is this can't be that entertaining for you guys. This has to be really f boring to watch. You, I f called it. Oh. 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 Please tell me there's someone who's done a balloon like that. There is no shot. I, I, no. Mm. I have to be the first one. And trying to get up there and putting it, it, it's not even just getting it on that pyramid, not just on the platform. I got it in the f I put it on the back of the platform. I put it on the back of the platform, dude. It didn't take that long, true, but it did take longer than I anticipated, especially the first half hour where I got like pretty freaking close, like at least like 10 ish times. Like, oh man, I thought it was gonna be a lot quicker than that. I feel like I took longer on the Luncheon Kingdom jump, to be honest. If, if anyone can boot up Mario Odyssey right now and check for me, what's the timer on my balloon? Like, how many seconds do you get to reach that balloon? You don't have to do the balloon, I just need someone to check. How long is it gonna take to reach that balloon? P somebody please tell me. 39 sec- Why 39? That- that's like 10 extra seconds. That's so- that's so much extra time. That like almost defeats the- and purpose. You get 39 seconds. That that like mitigates the f out of the difficulty of it. I need someone to like t let me know what's the criteria for increasing the timer on Luigi's Balloon World like balloons. Is it based on how? Ugh, it might be based on how far away the balloon is from the starting point. You know what? That might be it. Cause like I didn't get a lot of coins. I got like six, six to seven ish. So it just it just increased it by two seconds, and it's like oh, it's like give it five extra seconds on the timer. Thirty, it's not even thirty-seven. It's like two extra past that. So I think I think how many seconds the player gets. It's based on how far away the balloon is from the starting point. I think that's how the 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 find it timer is based. I think that's what it is. That's the only logical way that makes sense to me. It's not like specific paths, really tricky platforming, how many coins you get to hide the balloon. I think it's how far away it is from the starting point. At least we proved the impossible possible, but popping that balloon's probably like a decent bit easier than I'm giving you credit for at that point. If, it only, if it's only 39 seconds. At least it's not 40, but like, f dude. Ugh. That took so much out of me and for what? It'll probably make for like an interesting like is it possible challenge. God knows when's the last time people have seen those from Mario Odyssey. It's like, is it possible? 
probably been years since the last one. Modding content's probably taken over for Odyssey ever since then, like a lot. I can at least take pride in that is probably the hardest balloon you could ever hide in any of the kingdoms in Odyssey. Okay, so it might be due to several factors. Distance from the start might be one of them, but there's been this graph gauging the amount of time given to seekers based on how much time you have left as a hider. So that is likelier as a caveat. The five coins by the wire on the way to that platform too can probably be exploited and optimized for a slightly smaller clock. Most optimal path brainstorming here. And while the time for hiders is more generous than what I had as a hider, at least as far as a brand new hiding spot and in the context of trying to hide said balloon. This to me is one of the hardest balloons in Luigi's Balloon World in Super Mario Odyssey. If you want some of probably the most objectively hardest balloons in the game, both to hide as a technical advanced player and likely as a seeker, you should probably check out Checker Champs balloons instead. Dudes memorized and mastered so many coin routes in Metro, Sand, Seaside, etc.'s kingdoms, a lot of which you need to downward throw Cappy, a move only Joy-Cons can do, not the Pro Controller, which is my main go-to. I tried his Wooded Kingdom route for like an hour. His balloons, I'd argue, are probably objectively the hardest balloons in both ways, but I made history with the Glidon balloon. And I figured it was worth sharing that with all of you today. If you want to try and pop it, code's on screen. Same for other kingdoms too. I also like to encourage people to try my Snow Kingdom and Lunch Kingdom balloons too. Sand Kingdom's the one I wanted to ride this high on before it's completely gone. So there you go. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Odyssey content as well as other Mario related videos of many kinds. Stay super. Yo, hey, man, man. Hey, what are you? Yeah. <laughs>